This will be an unboxing and review of the Apple Airport Extreme 802.11 uh, wireless router, 802.11n wireless router. Um, we'll also talk about how it works and everything. So there it is, haven't opened it yet, other than I took the plastic off. There it is. So, let's see the router with several Ethernet connections, USB, a um, bunch of different stuff. And then in the box. In the box, you can see power cord. And set up guide. So let's see how it goes. <clears throat> so you can see this is the power cord, and this port is where your Ethernet cord goes into. All right, I've entered my wireless name and password. And now you can make a separate network for guests. I'll do that later. Yep. So obviously it's restarting the airport extreme. And it should be good to go in a few minutes. So a couple of nice things about the Airport Extreme is that one, it'll actually select the kind of uh, device you're using. It'll figure out whether you're using something like a, a phone or a you know iPod versus a new MacBook or iPad or things like that. And it'll actually detail, it'll give you the right uh, frequency to to use uh, for that for that device. You also can connect up an external hard drive and share that wirelessly, uh, wireless printing, hooking it up to a USB port hooking it up to a USB port. And it looks like we're good to go. Setup complete. And there we are. And let's just try it out. Yep, it's working. It certainly came up pretty quick. Alright, so now we will transform the Airport Extreme into a time machine using an external hard drive. So what we're going to do is just plug in the external hard drive to the router and looking on the computer, go to Finder and you'll see under Shared got the name of my wireless and there's my external hard drive um, so basically I basically put kind of a lot of media stuff on here um, so you can see that we've got stuff on here from that I've already transferred to this file so again you can see it's not at all hooked up to the computer and this way now basically anyone who's accessing the um, the router could have access to the external hard drive we can share files <clears throat>